Let's take a look at an example where we find the equation of a tan graph. Please pause the video and try this on your own. Determine the equation of the graph y is equal to tan of x minus p plus q. So from the p-value we need to look and see whether there has been any horizontal shift on this graph and we need to have a look and see if there has been any vertical shift on this graph. Now with a tan graph if it has just been shifted horizontally and vertically it's often easiest to start by just looking at the asymptotes. And the standard tan graph has its asymptotes at negative 90 and positive 90. This graph has its asymptotes 30 degrees to the right of negative 90 at negative 60 and 30 degrees to the right of 90 at 120. So we have shifted this graph 30 degrees to the right. So that means that our p-value is 30 degrees because we've shifted it to the right, the sign in the bracket needs to be negative. So if we just now turn our attention to the vertical shift, if we started with the graph y is equal to tan x, it would have a point at the origin. If we now move that graph 30 degrees to the right, that point at 0, 0 now lands up at 30 degrees and 0. So that's where we would expect that graph to have its a first point. Now if we have a look at the actual graph we've been given, we can see that its point is at 30 degrees and 1. So we have moved it one unit up from that point, which tells us that we have shifted the graph one unit up.